Don, let's talk about, there's also big news on the basketball front. Uh, down in Norman, there's a lot of stuff going on that could ch change the look of that city a little bit. Yeah, we had a, a story that we do a lot on business where we talk about new developments and new, and new plans. And in Norman, there's a huge uh, uh, development that, has, that was unveiled uh, and it includes an arena, a new arena for the OU basketball team. And we heard uh, uh, Barry Trammell from sports uh, talk to Joe Castiglione who said, yeah, we're kind of on board with this. We're, if this happens, we probably would be willing to move from Lloyd Noble uh, to this new arena. But this is, a, this is a, such a big development and it's not clear right now where all the financing is going to come from. Uh, one city official in Norman estimated it's going to cost nearly $500 million because this involves not just an arena, it involves housing, it involves offices, it involves a hotel, it involves retail, well, uh, a senior does, center. Where does this sort of sit in Norman? Where this is along I-35 from Tecumseh all the way into like Robinson Street. And it's, it's basically, as you're, if you're heading south on I-35 like going to an OU football game, it's really kind of the last undeveloped uh, stretch along Interstate 35. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of this land is owned by the OU Foundation. Uh, and the OU Foundation is the, is the entity that hired this consulting group that produced all these images of what this is going to look like and came up with this whole idea. Uh, one of our reporters kind of called it, uh, hey, it's, Br it's Bricktown without the canal. Uh, you know, and it's taken us years and years and years to de get developed uh, Bricktown the, to the level it is now. And this is something that would be a very long-term uh, uh, project. But you also have, you have city officials, you have university officials, you have foundation officials, you have regents, you, uh, others who say, we think this is a great idea. Uh, and oftentimes when we see these kind of projects on the business desk, by the time you see these images and there's a consultant that's been hired, and these consultants aren't cheap, somewhere there is a developer who's interested. We, we, we know there's interest in doing this. So it remains to be seen who that's going to be, how much money they're going to have to bring to the table, how much public money it's going to take, because it is going to take some public money to well, get this Well, of course, done. Norman's a different development environment than Bricktown as mm -hmm. well. I mean, there's sure. a lot more demand probably in a high high density residential area like Norman than there would be in a Bricktown type kind of development. But. Right, but you do have, uh, the, the city of Norman has already done something that we see often here in Oklahoma City where they've developed a tax increment financing district where taxes that are, that are paid in that district can stay there and, and it helps with the development costs and then the money's repaid later from the increased taxes that, that accrue from that development. So. That's, an in, that's, that's a kind of uh, function that we've seen happen before with these kinds of developments. So, Nolan, will you miss Lloyd Noble? No. <laughs> Ryan? <laughs> uh, it's a good arena for what it is, um, and it's not going anywhere. I think uh, when Barry talked to, to Joe Castiglione, I think they got the idea that it'll, stay on, it'll still be there and they'll use it for practices and things like that. Um, I mean, this arena would be several miles from campus um, on the north side of Norman, so it'd be a much different atmosphere. Um, but the renderings that were uh, presented to us show a pretty festive uh, game day atmosphere and kind of a plaza entryway, type. a plaza entryway mm -hmm. into the arena where they could host things like game day. And, um, and also, uh, in addition to OU, um, they're pushing the idea of having Norman, Norman North uh, high school games uh, at this new arena, as well as NCAA events and other things. Which would be really interesting because that would put them in direct competition with the city of Oklahoma City and the Chesapeake Arena where they try to get things like NCAA tournament games. They haven't had much success lately. We've had stories mm -hmm. about that. But you would have Norman and Oklahoma City competing against one another to get NCAA level events. And it would depend on the event, too. The, the arena was proposed at 10,000 seats, I think. Right. Um, and I think the uh, Chesapeake holds right around 13, a little more than 13, I think. And so it just depends on the size of the event and um, what they're having. But um, it'll be interesting to see um, how those bids work and, and who's working together. Typically for events in Oklahoma City, um, the University of Oklahoma has been a sponsor for these NCAA events in Oklahoma City. Well, now that you've got a uh, university-backed development, um, it'll be interesting to see who kind of steps up to help try to sponsor some events here in Oklahoma City. Greatest player to play in Lloyd Noble? Uh, Sooner. Gosh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Wayman Tisdale because that was my era. That's How about the Alvin answer. Adams? Was that pre? Alvin was before my time, but was Alvin pre, was... Al, would he even be pre-Lloyd Noble? No, no. He was, he was actually the guy who built Lloyd Noble. <laughs> uh, the, I believe the first year it was open was Alvin Adams was there. And uh, 
Alvin Adams was a great, great player. Yes, he was. And had a better NBA career than Wayman did. That's also true. Yeah, both great players. Both great players. Anyway. Mookie Blaylock? Mookie was fantastic. Oh, I don't think you can pick Mookie over Wayman. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> Mookie was more probably more fun to watch. Okay. All right. There you have it. Uh, the Cats should have a good basketball team this year. But we'll oh, talk great. about that next week, maybe. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of news you get here. Uh,